Good afternoon. We um we are at the top of a mountain. I'm drenched in sweat. Absolutely gobsmacked at how unfit I am uh, lately. But we are at the top. What an absolute view! And over there, gorgeous. So what the plan is? Um, set up the hammock. Set up over there in the, the background, just with those trees here. Set up a nice little fire. And the goal for tonight is to get an absolutely gorgeous time lapse of the sky. I'll set it up around here somewhere on the rocks with the tripod so it's nice and secure. Looking out over there, Gold Coast Surface Paradise is all the way over there. And then I'll just get all of this with stars. So yeah, my goal is to try and get the Milky Way. Um, so we'll see how that goes. I've got to set up the hammock and tarp and everything before it gets too dark so let's do that <laughs> Last night I set up a time lapse to get the stars, a night lapse, and uh, first thing I like to do is go into the photo mode and switch down to night photos and get my, you know, my framing done, my um, like exposure and everything set in there, and I do that through the app. And once all those settings are done. I then go over to night lapse mode, which is built into the Hero 12. Switch over to night lapse mode and get all those settings and input into that mode. So I can do that all with my phone as well. I can do it through the app, make sure that the framing is correct and I have everything done. Another thing I like to do is take off the lens cap just to make sure I don't get any unwanted flares in during the time lapse just to give the best possible result for the GoPro just because it's not really made for night lapses however with the Hero 12 they've done a brilliant job of doing night lapses they've set out an entire mode for it and it's just great so you can either do it in photo mode or video mode um, I prefer photo mode because you can get raw photos like 24 megapixel photos so you can just get a lot more detail in the photos rather than video however you can get some amazing shots with the video mode but i just prefer photo mode it does take a little bit more extra editing and a longer time to process but i think it's i think it's worth it in the end what i like to do is hook it up to one of these bad boys which is an external battery pack this is 23,800 mega amps which you know is it's good but like it could be better it's it's good for what it's supposed to be doing like it's keeping the gopro charge and it's got still got plenty of juice in the morning when i come out to check it i also have the interval set as auto so that means once the previous photo is done that the next one will be taken automatically hero 12 great it's got scheduled capture which I didn't use for this time lapse, but I have used that in the past. It means that you can set uh, basically an alarm time on the GoPro and get that to start at that specific time. So you can do like 9.47 till, you know, the battery runs out or sunrise, or you can even like end it as well. So I didn't do that for this one, but to recap, we do 30 seconds shutter speed, ISO min 100, ISO max 800 then we do the interval set at auto and that's pretty much it it will vary depending on light in the shot but that's pretty much mostly the settings that I use for my night lapse and so here is the final time lapse hope you enjoy I feel lost lost what do you mean